In this video, I want to talk to you about how to work with the FAQ module in Divi. So I'm located on a row that has an FAQ module in it. The image over here to the left is not part of that, but this over here to the right is. And first of all, it's nice to understand the features of this, and this particular template gives us a good opportunity to look at it in color, which is something you can choose to do, or you can do it in white. It doesn't matter. But basically what this is, is it's a collapsible and expandable por um, portal for people to look at um, things that you may want to explain in depth, but you don't want to take up all of the space on your page to be able to do it, like frequently asked questions. So there's a question at the top and usually the very first one of the um, expanding little bands there is is open when the user scrolls down when the end user scrolls down so here we have is this therapy and then of course there's Latin in here because you're supposed to write your own answer to that but if we look further down here if we click on the next one we'll notice that it opens and the top one closes so this pattern will continue and I know that you guys have seen websites that do this um, as well so let's dive into how this module actually works. We'll start by opening the module itself by using the gear when we scroll over the module and clicking on it so that we get our dialog box. So this is actually called an accordion. It's not called a FAQ module. I may have said that, um, but it is the accordion and you can use the accordion for other things other than an FAQ. It just tends to be what is used for the FAQ the most often. This is um, an introduction for you if you haven't worked with these types of modules inside of Divi, this is a module that kind of has two layers to it. So there's other modules that are like this. The slider module is like this. So you'll have multiple things and the social media one for that matter is this way too. But you'll have like a set of, of settings with inside a set of settings. <laughs> so it's sort of a nested way of looking at things. So the module itself has each of these accordion layers to it. And those accordion layers are represented here inside the module as well. So each one of these items has its own set of settings and then there's a set of settings for the overall package, which is the module. So as we move through this, I'm gonna scoot this over here. Um, as we move through this, we'll be able to see um, maybe it'd be better here, uh, where this, um, how this actually works. So as you can see, the first one is named is this therapy. And we can see that it's here. And then each one of these underneath, they have very, these three have the same name. And then what if I'm afraid of horses is down here at the bottom. So that should give you a clue. It starts at the top and then goes down to the bottom. So the first one is here, second, third, fourth, so on. You can rearrange these here. You can just drag them and, and pull them and they're gonna rearrange in order. But each one is what's gonna contain the content for what is under here. So at the, the very first level of things, if you wanted to edit what is therapy, you're gonna click on the settings and then you have um, a whole area here where you can do that. So you could come here and type in, um, this is therapy, just not the therapy you're used to. Okay, go on and explain it further whatever you want to do. There's going to be a place here where you can add links, you can design this, so you can add icons to it, you can, this toggle is going to say what is the open color and what is the closed color, so when it's open it's yellow, when it's closed it's orange, you can style your text, um, you can style the closed title, um, you can style the title text overall, you can style the body text, you can size it. I mean, all of the things that you can do in designing modules, you can do here. And then you could also create this as being a link to other content if you wanted to add that. Um, and you can give it a background as well. All right. 
if you want to go back and work on the next one, you're gonna need to use this little back arrow here. If you're done and that's all the corrections you wanted to make, go ahead and click your check mark, but you can click this back arrow and now you can go on to the next one, the next one, the next one. The accordion itself has um, some global settings. So this is what it's talking about when it's talking about the toggle icon. So in this case, we've got it as a plus sign. If we wanted to change it to the little down arrow thing, we could. We can also change under design. We can change that to a different color if we want it to be white instead of that gray color. Um, and we can change the size of it we can change uh, the the default open and closed um, colors as well and some basic things that would affect all of these things. And then back to content, this is um, this area as well. And then this background and the link would be for the entire module, not for specific parts in the module, if that makes sense. So, um, and then the admin label, of course, is what you're gonna put on if you wanna look at something in wireframe form. I'm gonna go ahead and click the X because I want that to go back to what it was. And um, that's basically it. The accordion module, or like I call it, the FAQ module, is a really handy way, again, if you want to put a lot of text into something that people could sort through, but isn't exactly going to take up a lot of space on the page because they can collapse and expand it accordingly. Now, there's another module very similar to this one that is tabbed content. So this one goes vertically. That one is going to go horizontally. All right, I'll see you in the next video.